Hey guys, Trace here for Secret Trips. We're at the Farnborough Air Show, where they've been showing off the newest in plane technology all week. But without the legacy of aircraft, the legacy of aerospace, we wouldn't be out there. So we need to remember these old planes and how cool they are too. In order to respect the power and ingenuity of modern day aircraft, you have to look to the past. The early pioneering flying machines of cloth and wood, the sleek metal planes that pushed the limits of where humans can venture, the failures, the successes, each one an important piece of the puzzle that has brought us to where we are today. Which is why many have worked to preserve these airplanes, like Tracy Curtis Taylor, who restored and flies a classic Boeing Stearman. She took me on a tour of her airplane and gave me a little insight on why vintage planes like her Spirit of Artemis are so special. And there must be just something about these planes versus, I mean, we're, we're at Farnborough, so there's, there's new planes everywhere and they're showing off the newest technology, but, but it just feels different, you know, I imagine, to fly something like this. Well, actually, it's chalk and cheese with, you know, the original pioneering flying. Well, what you're seeing here is a handmade aeroplane. This is a wood and fabric old biplane, and it's just classic 1920s technology. Everybody calls this real flying. So again, to take an aeroplane like this around the world, flying the rivers, the lakes, the shorelines at low level, this is probably the best flying adventure in the world. And it's very rare now. This is a bit of a dying art. And that may be the perfect word to describe these planes, art. The way they're shaped, the way they fly, the way they sound. But it's also more than that. It's about what these restored airplanes represent and their place in history. Obviously, you're very passionate about this. So when you bring a plane like this out to a show like this, what's, 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 what's the thinking? Like, what are you trying to do by bringing it here? Well, I think it's rather lovely because it's this juxtaposition of old and new. And I think this generation need to be reminded that, you know, civil aviation was, was based really on People, people like me getting into wooden fabric aeroplanes. And these pioneers back in the 20s and 30s, these were daring, dashing, you know, very brilliant individuals who were, you know, really pushing the boundaries, taking enormous personal risks, but out there to prove it could be done. And these were the early days. I mean, this is, this is when aviation was very new, very fresh, and the whole world was just fascinated and, and thrilled by the idea of flight. Walking around the Farnborough Air Show, it's clear the world is still fascinated by flight. And yes, it is partly the excitement of seeing a jet fly by at unfathomable speeds, to look at the newest, biggest, and fastest, to think about the next step in aerospace. But the past will continue to be an important part of the present. Vintage planes will continue to be salvaged, restored, remembered, presented, and of course, flown. And in Tracy's mind, flying them should be a requirement. I just like to see, you know, an element of training where students, the, the pilots of the future, still get a chance to fly airplanes like this. But I have young students coming and looking at, at the cockpit here and just saying, we don't know how you fly this. And I think keeping them around like this and getting people to be able to come and, and see them is probably oh, part of really that, right? Important. And with that, Tracy took me on a tour of her historic Boeing Stearman, a one-time military training plane that retired as a crop duster before taking Tracy across continents and oceans. This is a 1942 Lycoming engine, 300 horsepower. It's got a variable pitch propeller, so I can change the angle of the propeller blades. Oh, wow. But when I'm climbing or, or cruising, the fuel is all up in the top wing. Okay. But I've had extra fuel tanks put in, so on either side there are fillet tanks, and I've got about six hours endurance here. Mm -hmm. And this is wooden fabric. There's, there's wow. four different types of wood used in the construction of the wing. And all the ribbing and stitching there, all hand stitched. Yeah, you so can there's, see that. There's hundreds of man hours that have gone into the making of this aeroplane. The, the undercarriage, I mean, this is a real tractor of an aeroplane. Yeah. This is what makes it just so versatile. All these tensioning in the wires, they should all strike a different note. Oh, wow. So you can hear them yeah, and I you do. know whether yeah, or not they're the right type. Can I plug this? Oh, that's great. I'm just impressed by how much engineering goes into building something that then comes out to be just such a simple, beautiful machine. That's the old bird. Planes like the Spirit of Artemis are important. They are a snapshot to the past and an inspiration for the future. And they're just so beautiful to look at. Yeah. I mean, people just get so enthused by the, you know, the romance and adventure of it. I'm there, for sure. I wouldn't buy anything else.
Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos.